first, would you please introduce yourself? Yeah. So, my name is Nicholas Stylianidis. I'm a consultant and colorectal surgeon from Manchester in England. And we've come to Tokyo to visit Professor Kinugasa and Dr. Shiomi to learn uh, robotics and specifically the technique of lateral lymph node dissection. Did you find any outstanding point about uh, Dr. Kinugasa's surgery or his team's surgery? Yeah, so the, the very obvious point is the fact that uh, technically he's, he's a very gifted surgeon. He makes the operation look effortless. Um, the team is fantastic. Everybody knows what they're doing and does it without being asked to do so. Uh, so there are, there are significant differences in the way um, the way they practice here in Tokyo. It's fantastic to see. Hello, my name is Ben Horn. I'm also a colorectal surgeon from Manchester, England. Um, and yes, we've come out here to observe robotic surgery from one of the highest volume centers. Uh, specifically focusing on lateral lymph node dissection. Uh, well, the outstanding points are the, the, the team approach to managing each case. Um, the high volume of robotic resection they've done is, is clearly obvious by, by the efficiency uh, of the cases in the theatre and uh, picked up lots of little hints and tips for taking back home to England, uh, which is relatively novice in its approach to robotic surgery. Uh, my name is Mr. Burgess, Philip Burgess. I'm a consultant surgeon from Stock on Trent in England. Uh, uh, we have come as a group to look at the robotic surgery over here. We've been doing this for the last three years in our unit. And the specific thing we want to learn from Professor Kinugasa was on the pelvic sidewall dissection and he and his team kindly organized this trip over here and also organized a trip at Shizuko and we also managed to go to NCC Cancer Center so we had a good week watching these cases. Uh, it was a beauty to watch the way the team works. Uh, everything was quite synchronized. It's a very smooth flow. You know the surgery is extremely difficult, but he was he made it look very easy. Oh. So it was a wonderful thing to watch him do. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Philip Roy. I'm a consultant general surgeon from Royal Stoke University Hospital in the UK. Mm -hmm. And did you find any outstanding point about Dr. Kinugasa's surgery? I think it's really worthwhile watching how he interacted with his team. Everything went very smoothly, everything was done quickly. Mm -hmm. But there's never any rushing, everything was done at the appropriate time. And you can see that the team is well rehearsed, worked together very well, and it's a pleasure to watch. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Matthew Kobilas. I'm a surgical care practitioner from the Royal Stoke University Hospital in England. Okay, and did you find any outstanding point about Dr. Kinugasa's surgery? Uh, yeah, so I'm here to get a perspective from the nursing side. So watching the nursing team has been a, has, has been a good project. Uh, they're very, very efficient in the Japanese theatres. Uh, it's been very good to watch. Hmm. What about the atmosphere of his team? Yeah, very professional atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, we can take a lot of things back to England to improve our own service. Very much enjoyed all the oh. good weeks, uh, and we've called the rugby match as well on Saturday, which is good. Rugby World Cup. Is there any difference between uh, Japanese surgery and uh, English surgery? Um, the surgery is the same no matter where you go mm -hmm. in the world. Um, one of the one of the most obvious differences is that our patient population tend to be larger, uh, fat and fat, mm -hmm. fatter patients, which can make it more challenging. Um, but the, the big striking difference is that because of the high volume of cases going through this unit, everyone's very efficient and very slick at what they do. It's it's, it's fantastic to see. Um, we want to say a big thank you to Professor Kunugasa and his team, and also Dr. Shiomi and his team. Uh, for their very warm hospitality and looking after us in uh, Tokyo and in Shizuoka and taking us out for some lovely sushi and sake. So, <laughs> arigato.